you know, the Mayweather family, Roger Floyd Sr., you know, it seems like you guys are always open to work with whoever wants to learn. Is, is that kind of true? Yeah, it's kind of true. I mean, the thing is, is that, um, especially if somebody looks like they, you know, they really want to learn and, I mean, they, they really love boxing. I mean, I feel, you know, it's my job. It's what I do for a living, so mm -hmm. I can't there, turn nobody away. Is there a sense of gratification, though, that you really are kind of helping someone? Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I think that me being a trainer, as opposed to me being a fighter, I love being a trainer much more than I was ever at the fighter. Really? Yeah, because I feel like I'm giving something back. It's almost like I start from scratch and, you know, I have a clean canvas. Yeah. And basically, I add to that canvas, you know, every time. And yeah. hopefully, when I'm finally when I'm done, hopefully I have a masterpiece. Gotcha. What, when you first start being a trainer and you said, I want to try this out, what were those early days like? Was it a challenge, a transition? Well, I mean, to be honest, it was weird because I never wanted to be a trainer. I mean, when I left boxing, I was always manager, pretty much. You know, I, I did everything for him. So, it was kind of like, it was kind of like I kind of got, kind of got caught into it by a good friend of mine. My very first fighter was uh, David Sample. Yeah, I remember. And, um, and David Sample, you know, because he always go to his fights, and I always just be yelling, and, I, and everything I would tell him to do, he would only hear my voice. And so he said, he said, Jeff, you should train. Said, you should be a trainer. And I'm like, you should be no trainer. Especially, he's a softball. You know, so my very first fighter, I'm, yeah. I'm a trainer in softball, but actually, because of our friendship, I, we, was, we were so close, you know. I mean, we was almost inseparable. So, I mean, of course, I couldn't say no. And so, um, you know, I ended up training them, and I took them all the way at least to a world title. Yeah, got you. And um, they say you're different than uh, Floyd Sr. and, and uh, Roger, because they're so kind of like outspoken, the cuss words, this. They say Jeff's a little more kind of like the thought, the well-spoken one. What do you think when you hear that? Well, I mean, I guess it's true in a sense, but, you know, I mean, I'm, I guess with me, I try to be more tactful. I mean, I may still say the same thing they say, but I just say it in a different way.